How's it going on guys? My name is Steph and welcome back to another episode of of my, my Aston Villa career mode. Actually this is fifth episode already. I'm, I'm just joking. It's it's like end of the November and it's only fifth episode. So uh, my bad I'm producing low series. But uh, anyways, we're really starting off with a promised game versus Stoke. As I said in the previous episode, Stoke City. And actually I... Before I uh, before I jumped in the game, I actually uh, f not fired, but recalled uh, each and every scout from its uh, its country where it was scouting for players, so I can have a fresh start when I need players and I need to scout them. But anyways, and at that moment I didn't realize it was a cup game. We're starting off with uh, Guzan, Lawton, Clark, Cole, Luna, Westwood, Hoffman, and Zogbia, Weinman, Delph, and Christian. Almighty Benteke and uh, normally for a cup game I actually show you the first 11 that FIFA nicely puts it out but uh, I didn't realize it was a cup game so that was that's not a part of this video but starting off in the earliest earliest um, earliest minutes actually I show you this action not because it was a great shot actually it was a great shot but the, the, how the camera looks how the camera works uh, you know, I love the camera when behind the player so that I can see the traje trajectory of the, uh, or I should say flight path of the ball. But anyways, did not work for me actually. That was only like a first chance in the first half but then uh, I actually changed formation to 4-3-3 uh, holding. I think I have one CDM. And I put on Agbon Lahore, I put on Radosevic, I put on Gary Gardner which is actually an amazing player for me. And yeah, Radosevic manages to get himself in the first action at, you know, only three chances and it's like 85th minute or now 86th minute in the, in the, in the second half. But anyways, uh, we Lawton gets a jump, Radosevic feeds Agbon Lahore, which finds uh, Benteke and nobody can stop Benteke's power shot. Yeah, not even, uh, not even, was it Asmir Begovic, I believe, in the, no, Asmir Asmir Begovic was transferred, I believe, in this in this transfer window so I'm not sure who was it in goal but anyways look at that power shot directly into the keeper but he cannot manage to skip it out actually uh, fucking Skype uh, he actually leans to right as well as the shot goes to the left and in the last uh, in the last minute Agba Lahore tries a shot to like end the game and yeah the game ended the keeper didn't even uh, kick the ball out so here it is, the full time 1 0, pretty boring game, I must say. I don't know, it was a long time since I played it, but uh, you know, only three shots, none of them on target from Stoke. I actually, actually deserved to win more than 1 0, but anyways, it was a bad, bad game. I, I didn't, yeah, I even didn't play that great, especially in the finishing chances. But anyways, yeah, it, as I said, it was a cup game, and in most of the matches it was a, a more goal scored than in our match. But then we are we are just looking at the at the Barclays Premier League table and as you see we're in the fourth place which is actually pretty nice for me. We didn't lose a game already. I mean didn't lose a game, but yeah we have we have five points as well as Sunderland. Sunderland has five points and that is a surprising a surprising fact for me because Sunderland actually is a not not a world class team in the game. I know how they even though and. I'm not sure how they uh, how they get so high, but anyways, uh, as you see, I'm I'm recording this after the 6-0 win uh, Manchester City has on as uh, has on Spurs, which actually demolished Spurs. Uh, what a game! What a game it was! And in like in half hour, it's United versus uh, somebody. Game. I'm not sure versus who, but anyways, we uh, and let's back let's go back into the game. We have a game versus Newcastle, and Newcastle. Is, is a very unpredictable team, especially because their most of their players are pretty freaking strong, and so I put uh, so I put uh, the same team as I did with Stoke in because I believe we can we can win on this on this uh, on this you know on this formation on this on this first eleven on the, on our first lineup. So uh, yeah. Th that's what it was and the bench is the same because I have Agbon Lahore on the bench and Agbon Lahore needs to play more and I know that but Bentek is currently our main striker because he is, uh, he is the best for me. Yeah but this game this game was uh, pretty much uh, two or three times more exciting than it was already in the 8th minute Bentek gets us a corner which yeah, a corner is good for us, but we are not uh, famous for scoring uh, corners. But anyways, we got a we got a jumping header 
I'm not sure who was that. Uh, looked like a pretty small guy, but unfortunately it was Okor, I believe. And Okor gets a second header. Cannot get that one on target though. But still, in the 13th minute, minute Benteke finds a space, finds some space actually in the in the, in the close to the goal and shoots. But an amazing save by the keeper was made. I believe that was Tim Krul on the on the other side of the net. But anyways, PC saying the 42nd minute gets a ball, lovely touch from him. I, I believe that was a chest touch, a chest bump, and then turns around with his. The Hyper Venoms, his orange Hyper Venoms boots. Yeah, nice chest touch and then a, a shot, a decent shot. But yeah, actually, that was uh, that was my mistake. I believe that was my mistake because I pulled the keeper out, which I didn't have to. Uh, I, and I know that from the for the for the for the future now that I don't have to put a keeper out. But anyways, I just speeded up a couple <laughs> a couple seconds, and as you see. Clark mistimes the pass and everything that is going to be and Papi sees again with his orange hyper venoms which are actually a magnificent boot I tried them out in a store a couple of days back and they are a little bit too expensive or a bit expensive for me but they are fan fan freaking tastic and yeah another my mistake Clark uh, didn't pass it because I was feeling too cocky and my, I again pulled the keeper out, which was totally unnecessary. But then, a couple of minutes later, in the second half, in the 49th minute, I believe, Benteke again finds some space. Benteke is a, such a such a crucial, such a great player. Uh, but yeah, uh, didn't did again didn't finish it. But here, she say not a good shot by him. But uh, Brad Guzan had some trouble saving that. And those shots are the P rollers. I, I, most of the community calls it the less slow accurate, slow accurate shots uh, like this one. Uh, the keeper has much trouble uh, of of keeping that in into the into the safe hands. But here we see a great play by Hoffman and teammates. And Delph, look at that sliding shot. I believe that is that is the most beautiful goalish I scored in this uh, I scored in this uh, in this season because. It's hard. It's hard to score like a sliding goal, especially if it was uh, like uh, many many meters out. But Kozak feeds Weinman after the substitution. Kozak is a great player. Feeds Weinman, and Weinman cannot hit a goal from like six meters out. And yeah, that is pretty much very disappointing for me because I was losing 2-1, and then I get the free kick. I get a free kick in the 19th minute. Uh, Anita and uh, Sissoko changes up, and Gary Gardner feeds Benteke on the header. And again, Christian Benteke, the Belgium, the Belgium superstars, has now four league goals, and he is now the top league scorer. Feeds us to second to um, to a, like I don't know which uh, which uh, tie what is, but I like fourth or third or fifth tie. I'm not sure, but yeah, feeds us into the into the into the two to two uh, score, and you know. Two, four goals scored by only two players, Papisis and Christian Bateka, which was also a uh, most valuable player, uh, get a man of the match award from the community, I guess, the ones who voted on it. But Chelsea manages to, to tie to Everton because uh, Chelsea can demolish us, but Everton, I guess, cannot because I don't think we played against Everton. But anyways, this is it for this episode of... Uh, Aston Villa career mode. Hope you enjoyed it. Many more to come as always. I'm sorry for that. I just burped. My name is Stevie. That was my phone. Uh, my, my name is Steve. And that was my phone. And I'm out. Have a nice Premier League weekend. Tschüss.